I'm Franz, and I'm going to show you how to change the way your Concrete CMS site looks and feels. Uh, I hope that you've already watched a basic intro video, uh, it'll give you a better sense as to how blocks work and how to add new pages. But if you know your way around Concrete a little, I'm going to show you all the ways that you can manipulate the design. So let's jump right in. Uh, first thing you want to do is look for custom templates for your blocks. So I'll put the page in edit mode. And this header image, for example, if I click it, instead of hitting edit block, you can see there's a design and block template option. That brings up this design toolbar. And from this little drop down, you can see there's some choices. We're using default. And if I switch to offset title, the block has a completely different look and feel. The image isn't faded, the titles are underneath it, the link is just a link instead of a button. I'll switch back here. You can see you can have blocks behave completely differently um, we've separated the view layer from the data layer, so the edit interface that you get over here, um, over here, lets you input a bunch of information, and then that custom template that you change from design and block template really lets a developer um, who's building these templates use those different pieces of information to display totally different stuff. So start with that. Um, Let's see, we'll go ahead and save that. And then you may have noticed there were some other icons there. So we'll go to this other block and hit design. And you can see I could put a background image on this. Um, not sure why I'd want to put a background image on this, but let's say I do. Uh, let's say I want to change the base, base font size or um, center align it, you can mess around with the padding and the margins on this stuff. Um, you can do some color controls. Now these are going to have to interact with the um, styles inside of the block, so you're going to have to see if it looks good as you go. And you are essentially making inline styles, which is definitely not a coding best practice. Um, you shouldn't find yourself doing this all the time, but you certainly can um, to get into some weird settings and it can be pretty powerful. There are, you can apply custom classes if they're defined. Um, there's a fair amount that you may end up doing from here when you're really making a page work for a unique purpose. Uh, if you find yourself spending lots of time in here, you might need some more work in your theme, maybe some containers, which we'll talk about in a minute. Those design controls are available on specific block instances on your page. They are also available on block areas. So if I click the little tab for an area, you can see it says edit area design. And you get very similar controls. There's no custom templates, um, but I can do things like um, mess around with padding. And um, that impacts all of the blocks in this area. So uh, another good tip. The last thing I want to make sure you know about at the page level uh, are containers. And so containers let you bring in a custom layout with some more design controls. They are also defined by a developer who made your theme, but they can have very unique looks, uh, different colors and any style attributes. And using containers would be a much more consistent way to do some of this unique padding stuff we're messing around with down here. Uh, so make sure you're familiar with what containers are available at your theme and see if those get you closer to your um, dream. If you want to change styles across your page as a whole, there are site-wide theme choices. So the first way you can get to those is through the gear icon on any page. If you click design, you'll see which theme that um, you're using from the ones that are installed. And a site can run in more than one theme at the same time. And within the theme, which skin is being used? So skins are just presets for a theme, um, style changes that you can quickly make across everything to have a very different look and feel. So um, you can see Rustic Elegance has this different background color and a, a different font set. Um, if I hit Save Changes, you can see, uh, well, let's go ahead and exit this published these earlier delightful design changes we made. There we go. We have really changed uh, the look of this pretty dramatically. Uh, what we haven't done is change the look of the whole site. We just changed on the home page which uh, preset we're using for this theme. 
If we want to do some more site-wide changes, let's go to themes in the dashboard. Here you can see the themes that we've already got installed. And from this gear icon here, I can customize this theme even further. This is the theme customizer and you can see the toolbar looks a little different. We now have just these presets chosen and when I go into it, I can change all of the attributes that are defined in the preset. So when I make these changes and get this looking just the way I like, it will make these changes across the whole site. I can also add just custom CSS. If I've got a big block of CSS that I know is going to make my site look better as a whole, uh, maybe I've learned that by doing some consistent tinkering with that design toolbar I showed you earlier, and you're getting to a spot where, oh, I have to add these three padding settings to that thing all the time to make this look right. You might consider inserting that as site-wide CSS so it just shows up everywhere. Let's go ahead and create a new skin. And you can see now custom skin is available here. Um, and we can come in and make further changes if we want. If we want to apply these design changes to all of the pages in your site, simply come to main themes, pick the theme that's active and choose the active skin. You will find when you come back to your site that the entire site is now using the new theme. The last thing you need to know about making your site look different with Concrete CMS is there's a marketplace full of add-ons and themes that you can browse from and apply to your site. So from within your own Concrete site, if you type themes into your intelligent search, you should be able to find get more themes. And that will take you to an interface where you can actually browse our marketplace from within your own site. You can learn more about different add-ons and themes that are available to you, see screenshots, of um, what that theme looks like. Um, on many of them, you can actually see a live example site as well. Um, click through that and know, hey, this is what my site will look like uh, if I download this theme. There's many themes in our marketplace. Some of them are free, some of them cost something, but all of them will help you get a head start on making your concrete site really look like yours.